Van Jones, Amy Henderson, and I co-founded Yes We Code several years ago, uh, understanding that there are so many low-income youth of many talents uh, who really want and need the tech jobs of the future. And so Yes We Code is all about helping over 100,000 low-income youth of many colors to become high-quality coders. Netroots Nation has changed a lot since that first yearly COS. Uh, we love that Daily COS is a sponsor. The community is so important uh, to the rich texture of Netroots Nation. The conference has changed in terms of getting much bigger. Uh, it has become more professionalized, uh, but we also still have that great mix of grassroots energy. I would say that it's become much more diverse whether you talk about the LGBTQ community, the disabled community, black and brown communities, immigrant communities, all of that is represented not just on stage and among the speakers, but also uh, among the attendees and media. My new book is called Mechanical Bull, How You Can Achieve Startup Success. I'm really delighted that it's become an Amazon bestseller because I wrote this book to share my experience as a startup founder with more people. My startup, uh, Attentively, is the first tech startup with a black female founder to be acquired by a NASDAQ company. That was just in 2016. And I know that there are so many people with incredible ideas that can improve other people's lives that are game changing, but they don't really know where to start to take that idea, find a team, get it funded, and launch that game changing startup. So my book has everything you need, plus a lot of personal narrative about how to get over that speed bumps how to get over those speed bumps if you happen to be a woman or a minority or both and find yourself challenged in navigating the startup world. If I could give advice to my teenage self, I would tell her to go for it. You know, and also I would tell her that the job that you're going to have in the future doesn't even exist yet. So follow your passions, you know, figure out you know, what's happening in the world, and at some point those passions, especially when you layer on innovation and technology, you're going to be able to create with a cohort the jobs of the future, not only for yourself, but for others. Mm -hmm.